Okay, Jonas, this is for YouTube. You gotta turn the perf all the way up. All right, boys, it's been a year. Exactly 27th of November 2020 was the last time I ranted about buying a new laptop. But now, but now, I have the funds, I have the means, and within the next 10 minutes, I will press the purchase button on some manufacturer's website but how will we get there how did I get there how did I choose the manufacturer this is what we are here to discuss so let's go let's see how I did it I finally did it next 10 minutes I will buy a new laptop but what I'm gonna buy is what we are going to find out if you're wondering what I'm currently sporting, then this is the Alienware 17R4 that I bought about three and a half years ago. You can see the date here. It's an i7 7700HQ and with a GTX 1070. The only slightly, so to say, custom aspect about my PC at the moment is that I'm running 32 gigs of RAM and these are these HyperX's 2666 megahertz speed and I made a video about it quite some time ago. Obviously, wanting to be a bit fancy, I delved deep into the Alienware homepage once more and at the moment we can find that the only option is the X17. This is the first aspect set in stone. The computer must have a 17 inch screen. So this is really my only option. Now scrolling down to the specs and the prices here, the machines I really can afford are the ones with the 3070. So GeForce RTX 3070. The 3080 computers are a tad too expensive for me. So if we hit customize and buy, now I've already customized the computer into my cart. This would be the machine I would buy if I wouldn't have any limitations budget wise. 11800H i7 with the 3070. The X17 with this screen setup is supposed to have a MUX switch. I'm not sure what that is, but that's useful. So that's why I chose this screen. I spec it with the least amount of RAM to go to save money off the get go and with the one terabyte hard drive because that would be the basis I would just you know buy a two terabyte hard drive later just to keep the costs down the memory and the hard drive would be specced like this and I would have the additional this was like fifty dollars extra uh, this Cherry MX keyboard and the grand total would be with the shipping to the area code I would have it shipped to three thousand three hundred seventy five dollars and forty four cents which is quite a lot of money so it got me figuring like what do the other companies offer how much are those computers so what I've set in stone is that it has to have a 17 inch screen and a 3070 so I rummaged through the other laptop brands web pages so this is what i came up with there may be other brands i just don't want to make the picture too colorful i just focused on the brands i know lenovo's offering with the rtx 3070 would be legion 5 gen 6 this one has the amd ryzen 7 5800h processor rtx 3070 as i said the ram is similar to the alienware one terabyte main hard drive, a similar screen, and you know other aspects are not that important to me at the moment. And this similar machine would cost me one thousand eight hundred sixty-nine ninety-nine before shipping and taxes, of course. Uh, Alienware, I really want to buy your machine, but Jesus Christ, that's almost double the money. Obviously, you know, with the Lenovo, there will be shipping and taxes. Now if we jump back to this page, we can see the deals. So there's supposedly some deals going on. That is what I was hoping initially that I would get a deal on an Alienware. Because, you know, there has been deals here occasionally. But if we rummage through the deals here, you know, uh, $13.99. Well, yeah, that's massive savings. And this is the spec without a few additions like one terabyte hard drive it still has the least amount of ram it has the same screen 
but it doesn't have the keyboard I would want. So, you know, mm, yeah, I mean, I would save maybe a little bit if I would buy this, but this is pretty much the same spec if you just go through the Alienware page. This is like the same computer. So, I don't know, where's the deal, where's the saving? It even says 1399 here. Like it says on this deals page. Weak, weak. So, I'm not getting the Dell Alienware computer. I would really want to, but this is just not fiscally sensible. I mean, I'm not that loaded, man. I'm poor. I'm really poor. But I want a new computer. I really want to stay brand loyal and have the fanciest brand of them all. But sorry, I can't buy a gaming PC Apple computer at this time. So let's see what other options there is. We have this Asus G7. 13QR. It has AMD Ryzen 9, 5900 HX processor. Graphics card the same. Screen really similar. One terabyte main hard drive and 16 gigs of RAM. And that would be mine for 1799.99. About $70 cheaper than the Lenovo Legion 5. Acer offers us Predator Helios 300 and this code back here. The main difference between the Lenovo and the Asus computer is that Predator is sporting the Intel processor and it's sporting the same processor as the Alienware. Really this is as close as it comes to the Alienware plus this one has a 2.7k screen and this one would set me back 1850. Look at the price difference this is a thousand dollars is the price difference. It's pretty insane. And last but not least, so this is the, the latest one I looked up because, you know, I've heard about MSI. I know the brand by heart. I thought that, you know, before I make this video, I'll look up an MSI too. And this is what MSI has to offer. GP76 Leopard 11UG-076. This one also has the Intel processor 3070. Regular RAM is the same. Hard drive, one terabyte. This mood set me back with an extended warranty. 2179.99 now if we delve a bit deeper into the processor specs we can see this is the computer i have at the moment this is one of the main aspects i want a new computer is the god awful cpu performance i mean already about a year and a half ago i noticed that the cpu is really weak i just pop up the task manager then like the only thing that's at 100 percent all the time is the cpu as you can see the perf rating on the 7700 HQ is 44.3. So whatever I buy, I will get a perf improvement. So I've added a few CPUs for comparison. Asus one has clearly the best performance rating on the CPU. Next one is the Intel's 11800H. And the third one is AMD's 5800H. But if we look at the performance difference here, then, you know, based on this perf rating, the differences are really negligible. For shits and giggles, I've added the 10700 processor line here. If we go to the Dell's homepage, then they're actually selling the last year's Area 51 MR2 with the 10700. And if we look here, then, you know, its performance rating is somewhat still respectable. So, I mean, the only Alienware I could really afford at this time would be this one, but 2070. Now, if we delve into the video cards, then we can clearly see that the 2070 is still respectable. I'm not sure in which spec this one is. Super, does it say? Super Mobile, I guess this one, or Super Max Q. The 3070 that I've chosen is better if you look at the best perf rating i mean it's only slightly better than the super mobile but i'm not sure which one this computer will have i'm just not gonna buy a computer that's a year old although the spec is not that bad to be honest you'd even get the double hard drive set up on the area 51 mr2 you can just expand the ram anytime so that's not that important i've made up my mind that i will go a different route this time so that's what i'll do and it makes sense to get the 3070 because you know it's only slightly better but it's still better and it's a newer chipset so why not architecture here is ampere and this last one was turing so obviously it's something new even a layman like i can deduct that from this information alienware i'm not gonna be buying you this time 
So which one to choose out of these four alternatives? I actually... I had no clue. So purely spec-wise, Asus has the best processor, Acer has the best screen. Because I like the resolution. I'm not sure what's the nitty-gritty differences of all the screens. I'm used to 2560 times uh, 1440. This is what the, my current computer is. So I would like to retain this resolution. But, you know, I'm not that specific of a user that I wouldn't survive going back to the full HD resolution instead of the 2.7K. Actually, I'm a bit torn here because this MSI Leopard looks really tempting. Really tempting. I will show you I've done a cart with everything in it that I'm thinking on buying. And this is what I've uh, put in the cart for myself. I'm thinking on buying the Lenovo Legion 5 Gen 6 with the AMD processor. As we can check the core performance from here. The processor is a bit weaker than 11800H and the Ryzen 9 that the Asus has. But if you do the layman's calculations here, the performance difference is 5% between these two processors. Actually, it's 4.93. I mean, this is so negligible that maybe there's the intricacies of processors, which I'm not at home with. As we can see, there's some caches and stuff, but I'm just gonna go based on this perf rating here and basing myself on, on this perf rating. I mean, on cars, if you have 95 horsepower or 100 horsepower, it makes no difference whatsoever. It's just the peak output. There may be intricacies within the processors. So, I mean, I'll, I'll do a quick Google here. Why not? If we're on the subject already. So I found this article quickly. They've benchmarked these CPUs and just look at the difference. Like this score difference is non-existent as good as. Like looking at these numbers, I'm not going to delve too deep into these things that I really don't understand, to be fair. And like look at the differences it's just so minute that uh, i don't think it will be ever an issue within the spectrum of my usage i mean uh, mentally it's a bit hard not to buy the best one but what lenovo got me with is the fact that they offered all this other stuff with the computer i mean i want the lenovo legion 17 inch armored backpack i want to be a cool gamer guy with a cool gamer guy backpack and they offer me a mouse pad for like seven dollars and this usb-c to four port usb-a hub for eighteen dollars plus this external hard drive that i wanted to buy anyway and this is the grand total here what i would be spending on this lenovo machine with about two hundred dollars in taxes on top about 250 i think because the address would be in california i mean i'm just within pressing the button of buying it there's this small sort of mental blockage of is this the best decision and this is what i hate in general in life about options is that you have those and having options is good right but that means you have to choose and boy am i afraid of making a wrong choice here now in general in life too not 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 just with this decision but in general you know i mean the only thing that i'm really questioning is that should i this msi it just kind of looks based on spec it kind of looks like it's just an inch more high end than these other computers just i mean it's about 150 dollars more expensive uh, I checked, it has a lot of uh, USB ports and whatnot compared to the other MSI models. I did this little compare thing on this website to come up with this one out of them all. It just seems that it's a bit more powerful. So this is really the only one that I'm thinking of. Maybe I should buy this one. Obviously I love the Acer's uh, resolution on the screen. But then again, I, I, I suppose I'll be fine with the full HD resolution so let's see give me a moment here I didn't have the resources available during the Black Friday sale so I gotta do it and I gotta do it today and stop thinking about it okay I've made up my mind I'm gonna get the Lenovo this time this is my final decision 
this is the grand total here 2233.78 with all the goodies that i added to the cart besides the computer i added the 25 euro next day shipping for the pc itself i will enter the credit card numbers here and i will do this i will do this this time so let me get on with this for the moment and let's see what happens in this video and in the future okay fellers it's the morning now i didn't buy it in the evening because there was a problem activating the card i for this specific reason got from the bank so but now it's activated it's a few hours later and this is my final order so uh, legion 5 still i haven't changed my mind during the sleep plus a few goodies here and there and let's see i will place the order let's see do it go through oh shit man we're unable to process your payment please contact your car provider or try a different payment method you also may re-enter your information and try again <sighs> I wonder if the problem is that uh, I have an Estonian credit card. Okay, I mean, let's see what goes. I have to fiddle with this off screen, obviously, for security reasons. Yes, I did it! I did it! It took about 35 times hitting place an order and about 25 times entering my credit card numbers but as you can see it's coming it's coming home like that world cup to the english squad in football in real football it's coming home it's coming home dang it it has nothing so i gotta wait for the adapter to arrive <laughs> 